Hey everyone, welcome to Boom Heron Hill. I'm Sue. Gorgeous day, bright, bright sunny day, not too hot. So I thought perfect day to start my fall garden, at least the brassicas that are gonna go into my fall garden. Here I have a tray right here. Um, gonna start with um, Chinese cabbage also known as Napa cabbage. I always have an issue with slugs in the garden that just love this. But this, my spring crop, I was on the ball and nearly daily I would spray this with Bt. And that seemed to do a pretty good job and I got them through to harvest in a pretty decent condition. <clears throat> I will be working on keeping that regimen up for my Chinese cabbage. I also plant, I think, let's see, broccoli. I have, I have a dozen broccolis. Well, maybe, maybe 10. I think I had a couple germination uh, losses here, but this is, let's see what variety. This is Castle Dome. This, <clears throat> in the springtime, I lost my brassicas to my chickens. So I actually had to go to the nursery and buy um, seedlings. They turned out well, but this Castle Dome is a variety that I always like. So I managed to start them from seed. And as a matter of fact, I started all of these from seed the end of July in my basement grow room and brought them out about a week ago out onto my back porch in and out of the sun because you have to get them used to this um, <clears throat> the daylight the sunshine that they get this time of year it's just like in the springtime you have to baby them through this initial uh, process of getting them used to the sun they've been out now i brought them out to the greenhouse and they are doing spectacular. So I have broccoli and then I have some, what do I have here? Oh yeah. <clears throat> and then I have some cabbage, uh, cabbage and cauliflower. So I have two beds. Now, normally I try and rotate my beds, but usually when I have brassicas, they go right back in the same bed. I think maybe I'm going to benefit from the BT that I put on this and I, I won't have that much pressure and I won't have that much pressure of the, the slugs on my Chinese cabbage. But I have two of my big raised beds, my four by tens, and I'm gonna get all of these planted I have amended these beds with a good layer of compost. Some of my compost from last year was ready, so I spread that. Actually, this one has a lot of that in it. And then I had um, other compost that I had ordered from um, a, local, a local guy uh, to top off my beds. So I'm gonna plant these in and water them in so they get a good start. Also, you can see I do have hoops up and I will be putting my insect netting up and around. I still see those nasty cabbage butterflies, those little white ones flying around. And so they would be <clears throat> looking for a place to lay their eggs. And I don't want them to lay eggs on my brassica foliage. So. I'll be back when I get all of these in. Here is my brassica bed, all planted, and I gave it a watering. Even though I have drip irrigation on it, I wanted to give it a, um, the bed has been pretty dry because it hasn't been getting any drip irrigation since I pulled out my last crops in here. Um, I have a lot of space right over here, and I think I'm going to uh, sprinkle some lettuce seeds or something in there that should um, 
come up and I'll be able to harvest some little greens before the brassicas take over this bed. So I still have yet to put the insect netting on top. I better get that because I did see a cabbage butterfly moth already. So let me know, have you planted your fall crop of brassicas? What are you planting? It's probably depending upon what zone you're in. It may not be too late to start a few seedlings and see if they get in. I'm in 6A and this is probably a good time for me to get my seedlings in. Um, any of the higher zones or the warmer zones, um, I think you still have a little bit of time to, to go. It's really unfortunate that nurseries don't put out seedlings for fall gardens at this time. That would be really convenient for a lot of people that don't have seed starting operations. Uh, they don't have the space or they just forget about it. <laughs> like a lot of people and me included but I did remember and I did get them started and they are they are in the ground and ready to take off. I'll come back and we will do additional uh, check-ins on the brassicas, but let me go and get the netting on top of this so I don't get any of those cabbage butterfly moths laying their eggs that can munch on all my cabbages and broccolis. So until the next time that we can go digging in the dirt, happy gardening. Bye.